Hi everyone, welcome back. Now this video is for my MET students. At siguro sa lahat na rin nakukuha ng board exam for teachers. Why? Today my friends, I'm gonna give you 5 tips on how to survive the board exam for teachers. So please do stick around. So first things first. Am I qualified to speak about this particular topic? Well, I think so. I think I am. Why? Number one, I am a licensed teacher myself. And number two, I have been working with MET, the Review Center, for more than 14 years. Yes, you heard it right. 14 years. 14 years. And I have this trophy to prove it, mga kaibigan. Yes. So, pretty much, alam ko na yung kalakaran on how the exam goes. So, yes, I think I am qualified. <laughs> so, this video is actually inspired by my WordPress article entitled, Taking the Let, Here Are Some Tips That May Be of Help. So, if you have free time, please visit my WordPress account and read the entire article. Now, what is tip number one? Well, Review past examinations. And you might be asking, like, Mr. Padilla, where can we find copies of past examinations? Well, it may be a surprise for you, but copies of the past exams are actually available everywhere. Like uh, on Facebook, ang daming fora that they would discuss the questions. Also in different uh, blogs. And if you want a hard copy of it, mayroon nagbebenta sa labas ng PRC sa Manila. Well, is that legal? I am not so sure. But the important thing is, meron. Now, bakit ba mahalaga na makita mo yung past exam? Well, for you to have an idea on how the exam goes. Like yung line of questioning, yung style, and everything. Kasi I think knowing those things would surely help you in the exam. So that's number one. Review past examinations. So what is tip number two? Well, I'm going to read tip number two straight from my WordPress account. And it says here, concepts, not questions. So I am. Sabi this a WordPress, once you take hold of the sample questions, your tendency is to focus on them. And in turn, you end up expecting that the same items will appear in verbatim. Although some testimonials of those who took the test prove that some questions constantly reappear, still, we must remember that the board exam for teachers is not a test on memory. After reading the sample questions, try to look for rationalizations and determine the focus of each. Do not focus on the questions, but focus on the concepts behind them. Okay, it's step number two. Well, what is tip number three? Well, very simple. Practice. Because I still believe in the adage that goes, practice makes perfect. So mga kaibigan, kung meron ka ng kopya ng mga past examinations or bumili ka ng mga reviewer books like this one, ang gawin mo, practice answering the questions. Para maging familiar ka sa mga tanong sa exam. Kasi most likely yung konsepto, pare-pareho lang yun. Paulit-ulit pa yung mga concepts. And also, dapat pinapractice mo hindi lang yung mga pagsagot dun sa mga tanong. But also, kung paano mag-shade. Kasi my friends, napakahalaga ng skills sa shading. Kasi yung iba, bumabagsak not because they don't know the answer, but because they failed to shade properly. And I think that is one of the good things sa libro ng MET, the reviewer. Why? Sa pinakahuli, nalagay kami dito ng sample answer sheet. So you may practice shading as well. So that's step number three, practice. Now what is step number four? Well, very easy. Prepare for the battle. And when I say battle, I pertain to the exam day itself. Now, ano ba ang mga kailangan mong gawin bago mag-exam day? Well, number one, you need to visit the testing center kung saan ka makukuha ng exam. Mahalaga yan. Because my friends, the last thing you want to happen is for you to be lost on that day. Baka malate ka pa. Nako, hindi yan magandang pangitain. So, days before or even weeks before, puntahan mo na yung testing center. At pag nandun ka na, ito yung mga kailangan mong gawin. Number one, kung mag-drive ka, 
Humanap ka na ng pinakamalapit na parking space. Kung mag-commute ka naman, ask about the different modes of transportation. Maybe tricycle, jeep, taxi, or bus. And also, ask the people around the vicinity kung 24 hours ba ang biyahe na mga modes of transportation na ito. Why? Remember, you need to be early sa testing site. Kaya kailangan alam mo kung may biyahe ba ang mga modes of transportation at that time. Okay? So yun. Number one, survey the vicinity of your testing center. Now next, you need to have a checklist of the things that you need to bring on that day. Now, ano-ano ba yun? Ito, sasabi ko sa inyo. Number one, kailangan dalin mo yung notice of admission, then PRC official receipt, then pencils, then ball pen na may black ink, then one piece meter stamped window envelope, and then one piece long.